we were talking with Dale Tempest earlier, my eyes just raised at that 7-1 to one. Gary MacArthur, unbeaten in 11 before the tournament began. I think the fact he's been out for 14 months and come in for this kind of tournament, we thought he'd have been rusty. But I tell you, he's obviously good sparring, good preparation, because he was really quick off the mark. Savile just trying to rough him up a little bit. Be careful, you don't want to be losing points in this tournament. I mean, it seems to be a good half. I love the left hand. Body shot again. He's found the range with that southpaw left. Just beautifully, MacArthur. Savile, who's won 19 of 23, he's turned his own career around. He needs to call on that experience and just get in and try and rough up MacArthur. But MacArthur's not allowing him to come forward. Again, using the, the feet well to get himself out of trouble. He's boxing beautifully here. In out, darting well. Gary MacArthur and planting that southpaw lead as well. The foot forward, confident, dominant, and maybe the best performance we've seen so far. Yeah, I think maybe by a long way we've only had a couple of fights already, but this certainly for me is the most impressive because this really looked like a tough one for him. It is a tough one, but the way he's dealing with it, really impressive. Body shots again from MacArthur. So hard to discourage Savile. A real scrapper and tough, and he tries to get his right hands off. Just on the back foot, MacArthur. Will he come under fire? Hold on. So MacArthur has realised there's no point just prodding out little punches, little range finders. You have to put the power into them. Look at that beautiful left hand. OK, partly blocked but he's really setting himself when he lets the punches go. And that body shot is getting home, using all the skills that took him to the Scottish ABA light welterweight and lightweight titles as a top-class amateur. And even up close, Savile, when he's usually at home, he's not allowed to be effective. Punches, bang, 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 finish with a hook to the ribs. Lovely performance from MacArthur. Look at the power and the jab, too. Sweet shot combinations, and these body shots. Are they slowing Savile down? He's caught on the ropes. I also thought this would be a fight that would take so much out of MacArthur, win or lose. But the fact that he's initiating so many of the attacks, he's not under pressure. That's all to the good, too. Savile looks dazed and confused. Hey, Phil. Get your legs out. You've got to do him now. He's got to go. He's got, he's got Come on. You've got to throw more than just one shot at a time. But Errol all Johnson and Bob Clark know <laughs> it's a knockout or he'll be knocked out of the tournament. I mean, look at the quality. But when he's, when he's on the move, his legs are close together to give them mobility. When it's time to let some punches go, he widens his stance and look at the way he thumps him in. And how many times have we seen him finishing the three punch exchange with that right hand to the body? And those body shots really ripping home quite beautifully from the fist of the 26 year old who calls himself the Clyde Bank Blitz. The all green trunks of Gary MacArthur in fight number 12. Out boxing, out maneuvering, out working, and out speeding Steve Savile, who's in his 24th pro fight and is a hardened man. I think it's the fact that MacArthur is such a solid looking lightweight. He's just refused to be bullied tonight. I mean, I fancied that uh, Savile might not win it, but he could well decide who was going to win it with uh, what he took out of the, the fighters that he met tonight. But he's not been allowed to be effective so far. There's that body shot again. And yeah, this time with a right hand from MacArthur. He's only got one knockout. 
on the record. There's a cut, though. There's a cut. Oh, dear. For Gary MacArthur to the left eye. And that looks bad. Remember, two reserves, two standbys waiting backstage. Damian Owen and Gary Reed. They haven't used a reserve yet. That looks terrible, Jim. Yeah, I mean, that's what you have to worry about with Savile. He's not a dirty fighter. He's rugged. But if heads come together, then you know who's going to come off first. I think that's what's probably happened here. But look at the way he's responding. I mean, what a tragedy this would be, because we're looking at a new favourite here, as far as I'm concerned. What a tragedy. Promoter Tommy Gilmore, Jim, sorry to interrupt, was off his feet. A head clash caused the cut. He knows how bad that is. Well, the referee hasn't stopped the action to have a look at it, which is good news. And we've seen fighters coming back in this tournament with cuts. So after a performance like this, surely nobody would deserve this. Yet Michael Lomax did it. He was cut to the eye. But it didn't look as serious as that. And then Steve Savile puts one in after Victor Lockman said break. And he's being read the riot act. MacArthur has boxed brilliantly. But that cut adds drama to prize fighter. Well, I hope this is not the last time we see MacArthur tonight. But if it is, then he's certainly done him stock an awful lot of good. Because this really has been a performance. Certainly Boyd Savalon, who just hasn't been allowed to fight his fight. Good body shots. Ratatat tat again from MacArthur. Best display yet on the night. But he's the only one to have picked up the serious injury. What a shame it would be. And I think the fact the desperation in Savile's work too has probably caused it. I mean, he hasn't really done anything dirty. He's, been, you know, he's punched after the call to break and so forth. But he is rugged. He has to get close to work. But what a tragedy that is. Gary MacArthur. Yep, Gary MacArthur surely wins the fight easily. But the attention will turn to that cut. Jim, you've been around boxing for so long. Have they got enough time to work on it or not? Yeah, there's no question they'll stop the bleeding, but uh, I mean, they, they wouldn't allow a boxer normally to go into a fight with a cut. And that's the problem. We know it's happened before, but it looks like a bad cut. That's the problem. It's not, it's not just a nick. But I tell you, if there's rules him out, it's a bad cut, Adam. I'll be very surprised if he's allowed to box on. I hope he is, but I don't know. See, what we're going to see. See, see, you have to expect heads to come together. You know, if they do come together, who, who's going to come off first? And what a tragedy. Wild cards waiting backstage, and they're exciting. Gary Reed, Damian Owen, could a reserve be called up? In the sixth prize fighter tournament, and a coin toss will decide which one of these two will go in if, if, and I repeat, that cut doesn't hold up. It's been your cousin, Bert Watt, in the corner who's been working on Gary MacArthur. Tommy Gilmore worried, and Robert Smith, the general secretary, will hand the card in with the card when he scores to John McDonald. Under normal circumstances, you would never be able to go into a fight with an injury like that. Uh, if they'll make a special concession for the prize fighter series, I'd be delighted, but I don't know. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The result of quarter final number three, all three judges score this contest. 30-27, 30-27, 30-27. All three judges in favor of the winner and through to semi-final number two. He is the pride of Clydebank, Scotland, Gary Moore.